Hey guys, welcome back to the Coffee and PT YouTube channel. Um, today is Friday. We're out here door dashing in the Sevierville and Pigeon Forge, Tennessee area. Um, it's rainy, it's crappy, it's cold. Um, hopefully that'll be more money for us because people tend to tip better when it's cold because they feel bad that we're out here. But yep, we just stopped here in Sevierville at Black Rifle Coffee. Lisa's got her coffee here. It's a little, in a little outlet plaza here but the pretty good coffee they support veterans so we stopped got us some coffee so we can be energized ready to go but again please everybody like share and subscribe our videos hit the thumbs up button on youtube it really helps us out and we're gonna get started door dashing here on this rainy cold day all right guys wish us luck hey everybody we just got our first order today it's for walmart for $12.27, we are actually sitting here at Walmart. We had to do return anyway, so we're sitting here parked at the end of Walmart's parking lot. So we're gonna go grab this and deliver it to the customer. Hey everyone, so we just dropped off uh, the Walmart order. We're getting back to our designated area that we usually wait to get orders. And we just got an order for Chipotle for $7. Hey everyone, so I'm just giving you an update. Uh, we picked, we dropped off the Chipotle order and now we're on our way back to Walmart and we just got an order for $10. The Chipotle was out of a lot of stuff. Yeah, the Chipotle was out of a lot of stuff. Uh, a couple people were going to go in and I guess either pick up something or go in to dine. And they uh, said their truck never arrived and they're out of a lot of uh, stuff. So... Uh, the guy seemed pretty upset, but we were able to pick up our to-go order. All right, we'll take care, and we'll uh, talk to you guys later and keep you updated. Hey, guys, we just got another order. This one's for um, $9.73. It's um, at Walmart. Again, we've been parked here at Walmart. Um, it kind of slowed down a little, so, but again. The lunch rush is ending. Yeah, the lunch rush is starting to die down. But, yep, we're going to go grab it. Um, the rain stopped, and according to the weather, it's supposed to stop um, completely by now. But... And it's going to be overcast all day. Yeah. Pretty... Hey guys, we got another order here for Walmart for thirteen dollars and seventy something cents. I think it is. Um, it's a three dollar peak pay right now. That started at five o'clock, and it's after five now. So three dollar peak pay. We're here at Walmart. You can see we got our gate up, our tailgate up. There's the door. We're waiting for the people to come out. They're now three minutes late, but it is nuts here with the traffic. The traffic is crazy. There, you can see the cars and the trolley. I mean, it's, they're trying to get out of Walmart and we're probably gonna be late for this order, I'll be honest with you. Um, just trying to get out of Walmart. And then the parkway is bumper to bumper. We don't have to go that far down on the parkway. Then we're gonna head up towards like where a lot of the rental cabins that we talked about in the past are that's what it looks like according to the map but it's just really really bumper to bumper just even trying to get out of walmart and it makes it worse because of the chick-fil-a is right there and that's so popular but here comes somebody out maybe that's our order so we're gonna let you go and go pick up and deliver this order hey guys how's it going we got another order from walmart for 13 dollars 94 and it's only nine items so we're gonna go grab it pick it up and deliver it Hey guys, we just got back from that um, Walmart order and we just pulled into Outback and we got an Outback order for $10 and it's only going a couple miles so we're going to do it, come back and keep trying to go and we're still grinding out here even with the traffic and the traffic is really bad like we said in the last, last clip, the traffic <laughs> is bad but anyway, we're still out here grinding, gotta make that money. Alright guys, talk to you later. Hey guys, so um we got another order. We parked over here back at Outback. Excuse me, Walmart. I don't know what I'm talking about. We parked over here at Walmart and we just got a Walmart order. $17.43. It's a little far. It's going like 12 miles. But um, we, we need the money. <laughs> we're, like I said, we're trying to get a goal. Like Lisa said earlier. Trying to get that goal. And this $17 will get us there. But then we might do one more order after that. Just to get us just a little over. And then that'll be good. Like I said, we're not going to go out this weekend, so this is going to be the last time going out. Traffic is still crazy, but it's here at Walmart, it's just teeny dying, dying down, so hopefully we can get in and get out. All right, guys, keep watching for more updates, please. Hey, guys, another update. 
Um, that last Walmart order that had to go pretty good distance, over 12 miles, um, it was $17 and something changed, I said, I can't remember now. Um, it actually turned out to be just over a $20 order. It was a little annoying because it was in a nice subdevelopment that had an HOA because there was an HOA office at the beginning of the subdevelopment. But the people's address was half missing. <laughs> it was literally supposed to be like 1255 and the 55 was missing. Kind of annoying. But um, we dropped it off and we came, drove the 12 miles back, parked that out back. Like I said, we were going to try to do one more order and we parked that out back. And right away, we got a Sesquito 2 order. I'm going two miles for ten dollars so um, this is gonna be a little little bit of a buffer you know just a teeny bit of a buffer above the goal we wanted to get um, so we're gonna do this and so like I said it's only going two miles and it's heading back towards that way away from all the traffic so we're gonna do that order drop it off and then head on home but um it's kind of annoying I'm sitting here waiting on Lisa we got a text message saying the order was ready to go so Lisa ran ran in to grab it and I've been sitting here for about three, four minutes waiting for her to get done. Even though we actually got a text message from DoorDash saying, your order is ready at Sesquito 2, the pizza place. But anyway, so I'm gonna wait for her for a little bit longer and then we're gonna go and deliver the pizzas. All right guys, talk to y'all later. Keep watching for updates, please. Hey guys, what's going on? Um, Scott and Lisa are here. We are done for the night for this Friday. It was, um, we did $125. I know that sounds good, but it really wasn't. Uh, we've been out for quite a while, just with the traffic and everything. Again, 125 is not not good for as many hours as we've been out. It's kind of frustrating, but we we did meet that goal where you said we, and honestly, we already paid the bill. We we wanted to do it to pay a bill, and we already uh, <laughs> sitting in the parking lot at the grocery store. Grocery store, uh, we paid the bill. But yeah, um, we're done. We're gonna go home to the dogs, and we're gonna relax for a little bit. And go to bed but yep 125 dollars in the six seven hours we were out again we weren't driving didn't have the car on the whole time it's not like we're driving around for six or seven hours hundreds and hundreds of miles but it just not 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 the greatest we should at least made 180 190 but the traffic was just so horrible and, and some of the orders were bad yeah i mean going eight nine miles to go to mcdonald's order for three dollars isn't yeah it's just not right. good but again, the traffic was pretty bad. So some of the orders weren't were okay, but it would have literally taken us 40 minutes to probably get to the restaurant just because of the traffic. That's why we do not go out Saturday and Sunday. For all the DoorDashers out there that are watching this, a lot of them, a lot of you who do, who do DoorDash or even the people who do not do DoorDash, Saturday, Saturday and Sundays are the really, really good day they go out and they're usually take monday and tuesday off doing doordash or some other days in the middle of the week because they're so wore out from busting their butt on the weekends we don't go out on the weekends because it's just so busy and it's bumper to bumper i mean you go four miles it takes you half an hour so it'd be dumb if we went out doordashing on the weekends here in severeville tennessee where all the restaurants are on the they call it the strip but anyway so we're gonna go go home and spend time with the dogs and please everybody like share and subscribe our videos please hit the thumbs up button we really appreciate it and it really helps us out on the youtube algorithm all that stuff <laughs> all right guys talk to you later bye